went shopping again and I bought a few bits. I actually went in to check out the new Physicians Formula stand in one of our local chemists here because um, Physicians Formula only recent, recently launched in Ireland and it's taken me ages to actually go in and have a look at it and when I did I was just in awe of everything but it's a more expensive brand like the price point definitely isn't as low as a lot of the other bits that are even being sold in the same shop like Catrice and, um, and NYX. But while I was in there I ended up buying NYX stuff as well so I actually only bought one thing from Physicians Formula, a few NYX or NYX bits and then I had to pick up a few I had to pick up, I went to pick up a few Catrice things as well. So you'll see everything as I go along and I just try them on and give you kind of my first thoughts on them. And um, I'll do follow ups again on these anyhow. If you're really interested in anything, let me know below so I can let you know as soon as possible what I think about them, you know, a little bit further down the line and all that kind of stuff. But that's it, just keep watching. Thanks guys. First of the products is one of the new Catrice foundations. Now I went in looking to have, or hoping to have a look at loads of the new Catrice stuff, but the store that I buy the Catrice stuff from here in Galway doesn't have most of the things yet. So far they only have like one of the new, or two of the new foundations. There's one they don't have and there's a good few other bits that they don't have in yet. And I really wanted to see if they had the MAC eyeshadows and they didn't. But I got the Nude Illusion makeup. So this is a luminous matte no makeup feel foundation which I think sounds lovely. Now this one doesn't have an SPF as far as I know but it says it's a light melting foundation with soft focus effect and just the right amount of mattifying coverage. So my face is like really shiny today um, after just it doing its thing all day. So I'm actually just going to pop it on without like a primer or anything like that and see how it goes. I love the packaging. The pump is really cool. Um, and I went for the lightest colour, which is Nude Ivory. So, let's see how that looks. The colour looks lovely, actually. It's a really pale neutral. It's, yeah, it's not pink. I'll just use my Real Techniques, what's this guy, stippling brush, and we'll pop it on and just see how it looks. Um, obviously, you've seen that hunker of a yolk I have on my cheek, but it's kind of good to have it there because it'll give us a good idea of, um, you know, the level of coverage you get from this foundation as well. So the colour of that is actually pretty good. It seems to be a decent match. It hasn't like particularly darkened my face much or anything. There's like a sheen, but it's nowhere near as like shiny as it was, which is handy. Okay, so that's the Nude Illusion make makeup. And it's like calmed down the redness of that spot. Like it hasn't totally covered it by any means. I'm definitely gonna have to use the separate concealer, but it's definitely done a decent job. So that guy was around eight. 49 I think. So then the next thing I got was this NYX photo, HD Photogenic Concealer. I saw um, one of the girls from Viva Adonis going on about it on their blog and I decided to give it a go because they seem to think it's quite good. So it says high definition mineral enriched talc free, paraben free, all that kind of stuff. High definition concealer, good for all skin types, softens lines. It's light diffusing effect is perfect for photos in the studio or for taking fun pics with your pals. I went for the third colour up that was like uh, CW01, CW02, CW03. The two before that were really light, which would have been much too light. And this seems to be, yeah, it's on the pink side, which I went for so I can use it under my eye. I'll just use my finger to blend it in and we'll see how it looks. That actually seems to give really good coverage. Well, quite decent coverage anyhow for what it is. So... Yeah, I quite like that and I'm really glad of the colour I got. It seems to be bang on. I would go for a more yellowy one, I think it was, for my face. So I just popped on some cream concealer onto my blemishes there since I don't have anything new in the way of concealers to show you from today. Um, but I'll move on to the eyes next. I have this new palette from NYX. It's the Love in Paris palette, LIP05 Parisian Chic. So um, when I swatched this in store today in Care Pharmacy, it was so soft. Um, and it feels like it could be lovely on the lids, hopefully. So I'm gonna pop this on without a base as is and we'll just see how they go on. So as usual, I'm not gonna use the wee sponge that comes with it because, you know, they're kind of useless. But I'll start off with this whitish cream looking guy and pop that onto my brow bone area. And then I'll go up to this kind of I don't know, it reminds me of like all that glitters from MAC. It's kind of like a beigey gold. Well, we'll see what it looks like on now. Stick that onto the inner corner. It's a highlight. And then, what will I use on the main lid? I'll use this kind of goldy brown, the bottom left hand corner, on my main lid. Just 
Yeah, the colour payoff is lovely with these guys actually. I have had a few other NYX palettes in the past and wasn't like blown away by the pigmentation or anything like that of the of the eyeshadows even though they were bigger palettes. But these are lovely. Okay, and then we'll move on just to a blending brush and I'll pop into just that centre colour there. Again, reminds me of, I'd say, maybe Wedge? Maybe in between Wedge or, yeah, it wouldn't be as dark as Cork. A little bit darker than Wedge, maybe by Mac. Yeah, that goes on really soft as well and it seems to blend pretty well. I think I'll go into that dark sparkly colour there. So it looks like a dark brown but with I don't know, bronzy sparkles or something. We'll see how it goes on. I don't think the sparkles are particularly showing up, but that's fine. I just want a dark crease colour. I think there was like five other palettes, um, like similar to this, but with different colours in it to choose from. So they seem to be really nice. And the palette was 11 something. Yeah, it was around 11.50, I think. So next, this is something I was really excited about. So there's a wee story behind this. It's the NYX Liquid Black Eyeliner. And I follow this girl on Instagram and her name is Depeche Girl and she does the most amazing eyeliner looks and lip looks but um, her eyeliner is on point like it is like no one could knock it it's just unreal and she always lists the NYX eyeliner as her eyeliner and um, below all her looks so I'm dying to see if it's such an amazing eyeliner or it's probably down to her just being amazing but I wanted to see if it's um what it's like basically so I really do like this kind of eyeliner where it has that tiny little brush nib so I'm going to move on to a small mirror I can definitely see how she would get some of the like really detailed um, designs she has with it because it is such a fine little nib and that's really black I think this one was around Mm. I have the receipts downstairs but I'm too lazy to look for them. I think it was around the 6 or 7 euro mark so I don't think it's the most expensive in the world. It gives a lovely finish. It's like, it's not like full on shiny in your face but it's not matte either. I don't like very matte eyeliners. I'm really impressed with that eyeliner. It goes on so easily and so black. Um, my line's a wee bit wonky, but I can live with it if you can. Um, the next thing I got then was, I actually wanted to see if they had one of the new mascaras by Catrice in the shop today, and they didn't, but I got this one called the Ultimate Lash Multimizer Volume Mascara, and it's in the ult Ultra Black. So it looks like that. It looks like it could be a decent mascara. Really fat, big wand. Um, and I do like my volumizing mascaras, so I'll pop this on. It has mm, not an unpleasant smell, but perhaps a slightly stronger smell than some other mascaras. So I do really like these kind of ones. I think they really do offer good volume. They don't suit anyone who has really, really short lashes, I don't think, though. I think you kind of need to have a few, like a decent amount or a decent like length of lashes to start off with. So that's a really, really black mascara. Um, it's doing a really good job at adding volume but I wouldn't say it's like 100-100% clump free I did have to um, remove one or two clumps but that was mainly from the very top of the brush where, which I probably should have wiped it off but this is a nice mascara the formula is a lot thicker than some other mascaras that I'm used to it builds up on the lashes very very quickly that's a nice mascara though and that mascara was only like 5 euro yeah it was around the 4.99 mark or 4.95 so that's that. Um, next, um, what I might do is set my base. I'm just going to pop on my Chanel powder, which I showed in my last haul. And I might just do my brows like with lingering or something. And then I'll show you that. Oh no, I can't use the powder first. Hold on. I've got one product I need to use before powder. And that is this Catrice liquid highlighter. So because they didn't have so many of the new bits that I wanted to, um, to look at, I got something from the current like limited edition collection. So this is a liquid highlighter there it's just like a pink oh it's like pearlized a pink liquid highlighter so that's really pretty actually so i'm just gonna pop that on with my fingers because they're clean yeah so I'll pick it up in the back of my hand and pop it up along there 
that's actually gorgeous. I have another powder highlighter to use in a while, but I wanted to see what this looked like. Yeah, that's really lovely. I can't remember the price of that, but it wasn't that expensive. Um, and there's still plenty of that collection like on the stand at the moment. But anyhow, like I said, I'll do the eyebrows and the powder and then I'll come back and finish the last few bits. So I threw on a wee bit of um, this guy onto my cheeks because I don't have a blusher or anything like that to show you. What I do have to show you is this thing, which is absolutely gorgeous looking by Physicians Formula. Look, it looks like just loads of beads or, or pearls. Um, open it and it is a highlighter so hopefully it'll still show up over the liquid highlighter I got it's called the powder palette yeah basically it just says mineral glow or mineral yeah mineral glow pearls and I got the translucent color there was kind of a bronzy one and there was a um was it a, there was a golden one I don't know there was a couple other colors anyhow so on the top it has the highlighter underneath there is a mirror which is dead handy and a little brush which I won't be using but um, pop that back in and it's so pretty so it seems quite really really strong oh yeah that's gorgeous Um, well we'll see how gorgeous it is on the cheeks but pick that up and pop it in place oh you can definitely see that straight away it gives a really glassy finish it's kind of glittery it's not just like shine that is absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really impressed with that. So like the liquid highlighter one that I used would be much more natural, whereas this one is a real like in your face highlighter. Now Physicians Formula definitely isn't the cheapest of um, brands. This was 17 something, 17 euro or something. That's why um, I only got the one thing, but that's really, really pretty. But I don't know how well I would photograph because it's so well, I don't know, it's really, really pretty anyhow in real life. So that's the translucent one of those that I got. And then the last thing really to show you is this NYX matte lipstick. So I have another matte lipstick from them from ages ago. The packaging is a little bit different because it was sent to me from Canada and it was a pink one. So this one is called, is it Cherry something? Bloody, no, it's Bloody Mary. Um, so it's this like, really interesting it's not a full-on red it's kind of like a raspberry red I think so I'll pop this on straight away just from the bullet and see how it goes on it's extremely creamy like it's not dry at all like some other lip like matte lips can be it's a really cool color as well I better move on to my lip brush I just cannot get a good lip without a lip brush I just have one of those really annoying lip shapes that does not accept the bullet very well. So I'll have to finish this off with that. Okay, I think I might've gone a little bit overboard with the lip line there, but it goes on really, really lovely. And any of the blog posts I've read on these lipsticks say that it lasts forever. Um, it's very comfortable on the lips so far, but obviously I've only just put it on. That's everything on my face anyhow so far. So let's zoom out and finish this up. So that's everything done or applied. So. Um, the foundation, I'm loving the finish of. I think it gives a really lovely natural matte finish. Is that what it says? It says like luminous matte. So yeah, it's not a flat matte, but it has taken down the really shiny face I had beforehand because I had some sunblock on beforehand, so that's good. The under eye concealer, I'm loving. Like I think it gives really, really good coverage um, for what it is. And I often use a corrector to get good coverage and I don't think I need it, but this is kind of a pinky salmon color anyhow. Um, the liquid highlighter I got from Catrice, really, really nice, very natural. So if you don't want anything too heavy. And then of course the Physicians Formula highlighter is quite extreme, but I love it. And this color, which is like the pinky one, I think would be better for the lighter skin tones. But like I said, there's a darker bronze color you can go for if you're darker. The mascara I love. Um, I'd say it would depend on your own eyelashes. I think if you have naturally long, or long enough eyelashes, you can definitely get away with it. Um, it'd be interesting to see if it flakes or not. I usually don't find that though with Catrice um, products. The lipstick, of course, I'm loving. The color of this is gorgeous. It's like a real true, like in between pink red. If you're looking for a pinky red, this is it. So that's a lovely one. And then the liquid eyeliner, I'm just utterly in love with. I'm actually really, really impressed with every single one of these products so far. Um, even the like, whoops, even the eyeshadow palette from um, NYX because I wasn't expecting this to be the most amazing thing but I did think it swatched really nice and soft in the store. But that's it guys, I won't blab any longer than I need to. Um, 
There'll be a full list of everything below anyhow and I'll put pictures up on the blog, yeah, and that's it. So I'll chat to you all really soon, guys. Take care. Salam.